What I'm going to teach you guys today is something different and new. It is takes you only six minutes a day to trade. I'll show you examples from Friday. Um, there's three trades on Friday. Two of them were winners. One of them actually was the loser. So I'll show you that here. So this is my streak you're dropping. It's how to trade the fang names in six minutes. That's it. I only trade for an hour a day. I trade the first hour and actually don't even trade on Friday. So I'm going to teach you guys how to do this today. Past performance is not indicative of future results. So this is a picture of me uh, back in the day. Uh, this was in 2000, uh, me when I was in college. Uh, I wish I could say this was me on the right here, but actually it was not me on the right. That'd be a better story. Uh, this is Humpty uh, from Digital Underground. We threw a party and he was the, the, one of the performers. So I was a broke college student and I uh, didn't really know what I wanted to do with my life. I was kind of lost and confused and uh, I learned how to trade uh, and then I started trading and then I started trading this system that I'm going to teach you guys today. Fast forward to 2018, probably about 2018. I was in Austin and that is Mark Cuban and I met Mark Cuban and I said, hey, you know what? Um, you went to Indiana. I went to Illinois and Champaign. Uh, when you he had he had uh, he sold Broadcom to Yahoo back in the day, and uh, basically more or less uh, he put on a risk reversal where he bought puts, sold calls against his stock position to uh, lock in gains. And I said to him, I'm like, hey, all right, I know when you put in this huge risk reversal for uh, Broadcom to lock in your gains. He started laughing. So a little story about myself here. But what I'm going to teach you guys here today is something different, something new. It's called the six-minute trade. I basically trade anywhere in the world. Currently, I am in Phoenix or Scottsdale. Uh, I'm going to Croatia, Serbia, Montenegro for my birthday. I've traded in uh, Belize. I've traded in uh, Thailand. I've traded in Europe. I've traded in uh, Argentina, Buenos Aires, uh, also Brazil. So now I trade and moderate the trading room anywhere in the world. I'm a regular contributor on CNBC, Bloomberg, Fox Business, uh, BNN Canada. I've been on Cheddar lately uh, as a floor trader for about 10 years. But let's talk about the Ichimoku Cloud. And the Ichimoku Cloud is my biggest uh, proponent and my fan. So the Ichimoku Cloud is how I became, you know, a lot more successful than I was before. Uh, I blew up my trading account in 2006, and I said, hey, I need to kind of clear my head out. Trading is hard, it's difficult, it's challenging. So I went to Thailand, and I met a bunch of, uh, a group of traders. And when I was there, they taught me the Ichimoku Cloud. I came back and I said, hey, I wanna learn more about this Ichimoku Cloud thing. So I went through every piece of uh, research out there. I uh, went through all the YouTube videos, all the uh, you know uh, white label papers, and because Ichimoku Cloud is actually a Japanese technical tool, and it translates into English. So basically, <clears throat> I came back, I learned the cloud, and then I started incorporating and started learning more and more and more. And what I realized is, wow, this thing's pretty cool. Wow, this thing makes me money. So I started trading the Ichimoku Cloud. And what I'm going to teach you guys today is a way and method that you can make money, potentially, uh, using the Ichimoku Cloud every single day in your trading. So uh, let's talk about the agenda today. Uh, like I said, I was, I'm was i late, so I apologize. So we're going to ask you about what the Ichimoku Cloud is, the different components of the cloud, using the cloud as support and resistance, uh, the cloud and the trend, using the cloud for options, okay? I'm a big option guy, as everybody knows, and the six minute trade. So what is the Ichimoku Cloud? The Ichimoku Cloud actually translates to um, one glance equilibrium bar chart. So we'll show you examples here at the end. Within five seconds, I can more or less figure out if a chart is bullish, bearish, or neutral within seconds, okay? Basic brief of overview. If the cloud, if we're above the Ichimoku cloud, we're in bullish territory. If we're in the Ichimoku cloud, it's neutral. And if we're below the cloud, 
then it is bearish. So Ichimoku in Japanese actually translates to one glance equilibrium bar chart. The Ichimoku cloud is a technical analysis method that uses past, present, and future at a single glance to figure it out if the security is bullish or bearish. We're going to teach you the six components of the cloud. You don't have to memorize any of these, but I have these all memorized myself. So there's a couple of reasons why I love using the Ichimoku cloud. Number one is 100% free. Okay, I'm not here to sell you the Ichimoku cloud. What I'm here to do is make you teach teach you to learn it to use it better. So number one, it is 100% free. Number two is it tells you past present and future within seconds on the cloud okay so there's six key components we're going to teach you these let's go through these okay here's apple on the ichimoku cloud and this was a couple days ago june 5th so about two weeks ago so what we see here is we can see the red line which is the short-term trend the green line, which is your longer term trend. We can see chemo, which is known as the cloud. We can see the Kanku Spawn. Kanku Spawn is today's price action plotted 26 periods ago. And then we can see the future cloud. Okay. So Ichimoku Kink and Hoi shows me at a single glance if a security is bullish, bearish, or neutral. In this case, this security would be bearish. And this was about two weeks ago. Okay. So let's go through every definition of what the cloud is and walk you through this so you know how to use it. So there's six components of the Ichimoku cloud. Number one, there's the tank inside. If anybody hears Japanese and I just butcher these names, I apologize. Tank inside. Then we have the cage inside. We have Segu Spawn A. Senku spawn B, we have chemo, and then we have Kanku spawn. All right, so mathematically, you do not have to memorize any of these equations. I'll repeat that again. You do not have to memorize any of these equations. But if you want to, you can. Okay? Tank inside. Tank inside is the highest high plus the lowest low divided by two over the last nine periods. You might say to yourself, AK, what's nine periods? Okay, Nine periods represents one and a half week of data on the Japanese calendar. So Japanese trading day used to be six days a week. So this would be one and a half week of data. So we have the highest high, which in this case would be right here, plus the lowest low. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine which would be right here. So the highest high plus the lowest low over the last nine periods divided by two. Okay, So that would be your short term trend. Very similar, but not the same of a 10 day moving average, a 10 period moving average. I call this STT, short term trend. So if your current price action is above your short-term trend, it's obviously bullish. It's below your short-term trend, then it's obviously bearish. So the highest high plus the lowest low over the last nine periods, okay? Nine periods divided by two. And that represents your tank inside. Let's go to the next one. Okay, cage inside. Cage inside is the highest high plus the lowest low over the last 26 periods divided by two. So we have the highest highs right here. If we count it back, four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 26. Okay, so the lowest low would be here. So it would be the highest high plus the lowest low over the last 26 periods divided by two and you say to yourself okay what are these weird random numbers 9 26 the japanese calendar is based on six trading days a week so nine days would represent a week and a half of data 
there used to be 26 trading days in a month. Now there's about 22. So this would be one month of data. There has been people over time that have looked at historical data and changed this to uh, 8 and 22. It has not worked. So we just stick with the default setting. So here's your Cajun sign. Your Cajun sign is very similar to an LTT, which is your long-term trend. Okay, so if you're using moving averages, A, moving averages suck, and the reason that they suck is they don't incorporate highs of the day or lows of the day. If you're using Ichimoku Cloud, it does incorporate this. So you have your longer-term trend, which is right here. Okay, short-term trend, which is right here. So in this example, uh, current price action is above the cloud, it's above the short-term trend, and it's above the long-term trend. Once again, I reiterate the fact, you do not have to memorize any of these equations. Kegu Spawn, Kegu Spawn is the Tankin sign plus the Cajun sign divided by two plotted in the future. Okay, so today's price action helps determine the cloud in the future. Today's cloud was determined by 26 periods ago, which is right here. But you got to understand how this is incorporated. So they always say in any relationship in life, you always say, hey, how is the past? How is it currently? And how do I think the future will be? Well, in the example of each of the cloud, you can see this is like your dream chart. Okay, your dream chart shows you current price action above the cloud, above the short-term trend, above the long-term trend. The future cloud is pointed on and up, and it's trading above uh, where it was trading 26 periods ago. So one component of the cloud, which is plotted in the future, is the high is taken sign plus Cajun sign divided by two, plotted in the future. Then we have spawn B. Spawn B is the highest high plus the lowest low. Over the last 52 periods divided by two plotted in the future. Okay, so if we literally took the 52 like high and low, so right here it'd be roughly here, and then here, divided by two, plotted in the future. Like I said, one reason why this is so great is it tells me past, present, and future at a single glance. Okay, so it tells me the future cloud. Moving right along. Kimo. Kimo actually translates in Japanese to cloud. And this is very important. The thicker the cloud, okay, the thicker the cloud, the better the signal, the less signal. The thinner the cloud, the worse the signal, but the more signal. So we can see here, you know, if we got back into the cloud, I personally, I'm a breakout trader. So I like to take breakout. But we see here, this is a very thinly traded cloud down here. This is a pretty thick cloud. And we'll have plenty of time at the end of this presentation to go over um, the thickness of the cloud and where I would buy or sell any security. So the thinner the cloud, the more signals, comma, but the worse the signals are. The thicker the cloud, the more, less signals there are, but the better signals there are. Okay, can you spawn? Uh, there's a lot of debate in the uh, Japanese culture or in the Ichimoku cloud community that says Kanku is more important than current price action. I am not a believer of that. Uh, I would have debates about that. But Kanku represents uh, today's price action plotted 26 periods ago. So literally, if we just took this price and we moved it back 26 periods ago, then that's what it'd be. And you can see here on the chart, this 
looks very similar if we just drew this out. That looks very similar to this, right? Because it's just today's price action plotted 26 periods ago. So that's it in a nutshell. So you have the cloud. The cloud shows you past, present, and future at a single glance. It shows you if it's above the cloud, below the cloud, how the future looks, and how the past looks. You do not, I repeat, you do not have to memorize any of these equations, okay? If you want to, you can, okay? I'm one of those, I'm actually like kind of a closet nerd. I spend like hours every single day back testing strategies and coming up with ideas and concepts that I think can make me money. Um, but you do not have to memorize any of these equations if you do not want to. So this is how the cloud looks. Uh, we have the tank inside. High is high, plus low is low over the last uh, nine periods divided by two. Then we have the tank inside, which is the highest high plus the lowest low over the last 26 periods divided by two. We have chemo, which is known as the cloud, which is represents today's price action plot in the future. We have spawn A, spawn B, we have Kanku, and this is the Ichimoku cloud. It's easy, it's simple, it's direct, anybody can use it. When you are trading, you have to figure out which kind of trader you are, okay? If you say to yourself, hey, what kind of trader am I? Am I a breakout trader? I personally am a breakout trader. That's spelled really poorly. Breakout trader. Number two is a counter trend trader, okay? Contra trend, number three, am I an aggressive pullback trader? If you're an aggressive pullback trader, you're probably buying Beyond Meat right now, which I think Beyond Meat is done for. Beyond Meat can go to $400, can go to $800. But in the long run, they have so much. I'm a certified nutritionist. They have so much in their, in their burgers that are not good. This is a... You have an aggressive pullback trader, and then you have a moderate pullback trader. And these are really the only kind of trading you can be, okay? Figure out what you are, and you can use the Ichimoku Cloud for this. I cannot teach you or tell you what you are, but you're either a breakout trader, a counter trend trader, an aggressive pullback trader, or a moderate pullback trader. So you say to yourself, AK, makes sense. I love it. This is a great presentation. I'm going to buy anything you tell me. But why use the Ichimoku Cloud? Okay. The Ichimoku Cloud is my favorite indicator, bar none, because it is forward looking, unlike any moving averages, Fibonacci levels, or other popular technical analysis methods. The cloud takes into more than simple and exponential moving averages. It gives me a clear line of support and resistance. And it can be used for any product. So I'm a big guy, I'm a big proponent of unusual option activity. I'm sure a lot of you guys have even seen me speak of unusual option activity, comma, but using the cloud, you can use anything you want. Okay. You can use Forex, you can use futures, you can use um, you can day trade stocks, you can swing trade stocks. The Ichimoku Cloud allows you to trade any product possible. When I'm personally trading an unusual option activity, that only allows me to trade certain things. Okay. I can only trade equities. I can't trade futures. I can't trade Forex. It doesn't work on unusual option activity. So, Ichimoku Kink and Hoi works well for anything possible. Okay. And that's what everybody here, in my opinion, should be using. Every single person, almost 200 people here, you guys should be using the Ichimoku Cloud. Simple and easy. So, uh, we're going to talk about time frames here. I'm a breakout trader. We can talk about using it as breakouts.
counter trend trading, aggressive pullback. Mild pullback. Anybody can trade this. Okay. So in a nutshell, simple and easy, that if we're above the Ichimoku cloud, if current price action is above the Ichimoku cloud, then it is bullish. If it's in the Ichimoku cloud, it's neutral. If it's below the Ichimoku cloud, it is bearish. That's your big scenario. Okay, so if I brought up any chart right now and I go to the daily chart, let's say Apple on the daily. Okay. And within less than five minutes, I can get the Ichimoku cloud up. Okay. So you can see here, Apple is now above the Ichimoku cloud. So anytime it is above the cloud, this whole time period, ooh, it is bullish. If it's in the cloud, it is neutral. And if it's below the cloud, it is bearish. And this is a five minute bar. Then it got back into the cloud. Now Apple's popping above the cloud. So that is a generalization of how you can trade. Amazon. Okay, Amazon, the daily. Whee. Amazon, same thing as Apple. The fang names were left for dead. So you actually would have bought Amazon. These are daily charts, correct? So if you bought Amazon, you would have bought it right here at 1650. You would have had your stop loss at 1500. So you would have bought 1650 on the breakout. And then you could have got up to 1950. Okay. So you buy the breakout above the cloud. I don't personally don't take shorts. I continue to say the stock market is the biggest Ponzi scheme in the world. You know, it sounds terrible, but it actually is. And then you go to the to 1950. So that is the Ichimoku cloud. If you want to put it on your think or swim, I can show you how to do it in less than a minute. Okay. So what you're going to do here is you're going to hit. Hey, why is the Ichimoku cloud here? I don't even have it here. Let's get rid of it all, everything. Okay. Okay. So here's your chart. To insert the Ichimoku cloud, which is 100% free, you're going to hit the hourglass or the beaker. On the left, you're going to write Ichimoku. Double click. And hit apply and OK. okay. Once you hit apply and OK, you're going to go on the cloud. I personally like to do this. If you don't want to do this, you don't have to. So you're going to double click anywhere on the cloud. And then we have these different widths. I like to make the width thicker. So I go red, five. Green, five. Red, five. Green, five. And then Kanku, I make blue. I hit apply and OK. Are we ready? Watch how much this is going to change. Apply, OK. Boom. Now I have the each of the cloud. Simple and easy. Literally took me less than a minute. Okay. So let's go on with the presentation here. So I came up with a slide and I said, the proof is in the pudding. Okay. And what this tells me is that I come up with this idea that I only want to trade stuff that is based on historical data. Okay, I truly believe at some point in time, there's going to be no manual traders left in the world. Okay, so I want to basically be ahead of the curve and say, hey, this is an idea and concept. I want to look at historical data. I want to trade on it. And then I want to take the position off. Okay, because at some point, they already said 90 to 95% of all trading is algorithmic based. 
which means there really aren't many old strangers left. But I call this the slide of the proof is in the pudding. And actually, the pudding looks really good. I'm hungry. I want some pudding. So the only way to make money in the market is to use historical data. Unfortunately, my SEC lawyer, my compliance officer, doesn't allow me um, to look, call it uh, back testing. He allows me to call it historical data. So we looked at historical data here in the, what I'm here to teach you today, which is known as the six minute cloud. Okay, six minute trade. So now for the first time in history, you can use this indicator, which is proprietary based and it's only available today. And you can trade all the fang names in six minutes. When I was on the trading floor, I used to trade every day, all day. I, I used to bring my lunch in. And when I call them the old guys, the old guys were probably 40 at the time, which I am now. Um, the old guys would go to lunch. They'd come back and they'd say, hey, Kate, did I miss a trade? i go, how's your $4,000 lunch? I would never, ever leave the trading floor. Like, I would, I would pee in a Gatorade bottle if I had to, rather than miss a trade. Because that's money in my pocket. However, comma, but fast forward. I left the floor in basically 13, so six years later. Um, fast forward, now you can trade every single signal within seconds using what I'm here to teach you guys today, which is known as the six minute trade. And I will show you examples from Friday. There was three signals. I will actually show you a losing trade. I know I, no one likes to get on a webinar and show you, hey, I lost money. It hurts their ego, they wanna pretend they made money every single time, but I'm gonna show you a trade today where I actually lost money. So this is trade the fake names in just six minutes. So four components here, number one, time of the day, number two, chart frame analysis, number three, what markets to trade. I trade the fake names because they move the most, and then we're gonna talk about risk management here. So number one, time of the day. Okay, how much time am I gonna give any trade? So I watch the first five minutes of the day. There's something known as the opening range, and this helps me figure out if I wanna put on a trade. Okay, so I watch five minutes. This is called the six minute trade. I always say that it takes about a minute to put on, but really it only takes five minutes. So if the security, and we're looking at Apple, Baba, Amazon, uh, Google, Facebook, Netflix, Tesla, if the security is above the Ishimoku cloud, we will buy it. We will then put a market on close order, M-O-C. If the security is under the cloud, nothing to do. If it is neutral, you just walk away. So within seconds, it will tell you if a security is bullish, bearish, or neutral. And then you just take the trade, you put a market on close the order, and then you leave, okay? I trade four hours a week. Um, Apple, Baba, Amazon, Facebook, Tesla, Twitter. And I'll show you the indicator in on from Friday. There was two winners, there was one loser, but if you're making money two thirds of the time, that is a good thing. So we're looking at the five minute bar. If you choose to do this any on any different time frame, you're up to your own discretion, but it works best on a five minute bar. Nothing else, just a five minute bar, okay? So, what markets to trade? Facebook, Amazon, Netflix, Google, 
Baba, Tesla, and then Apple. So if we brought it up here, okay, so this indicator is a not available anywhere else in the world. Okay. If I went in here and I put in the six minute bar, so six minute trade, literally six minutes, that's all it takes for you to trade. I hit apply okay. And you can see here in Apple, I'm gonna move it to the five minute bar. So it says no signal. That means on Friday, there was nothing to do in this trade, okay? Not every day it's gonna give you a signal, and that's fine. We just want the best signals. So all it looks for is a bull bar above the cloud on the five minute bar. So we can see in an Apple, we got a bull bar in the cloud. So our proprietary base indicator says, no, 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 AK, this is not a signal in Amazon. And we can just go through all these names, and these are all from Friday. Apple, no signal. So it tells you, no, 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 AK, do not buy Apple. It is not a good signal. What happened to Apple? Uh, close on the lows, okay? Next one, Baba. Baba was a buy, and this was the only one that was a loser from Friday. So it says, you know what? We have a bull five minute bar above the cloud. You should buy Baba and you should sell it market on close. So from Friday, Baba was a buy at 168.22, 168.22. And let's say, just say for argument's sake, we bought 100 shares, fair. We would have lost about $70. That's okay. So we lost $70 on this trade in Bob. Let's move right along. Google. Google says no signal. Tesla. Oh, wait. Tesla, no signal. So Tesla was not a signal. Next one, Netflix. Netflix was a signal. So it told you to buy Netflix at 366.94, okay? And remember, let's say we were down 70 bucks in Bob. Let's say we bought 100 shares of Netflix on the signal at 366.94. It went up about $2.25. So we bought 100 shares, we'd be up $225. Minus $70 we lost in Baba. We're now up $155 on 100 shares of stock using this indicator that takes six minutes. Okay, Facebook. Oh wait, Facebook was a signal. 189.74. So if you took this Facebook signal, let's say again, we bought 100 shares of stock. So in Baba, yes, we did have a loser. Okay, so in Baba, we had a $70 loser. In Netflix, we had a $220 winner. Okay. And then Facebook, let's say we did about 100 shares again. And our proprietary base indicators, these are market on close order. So you're literally just going to buy it. Whenever this indicator tells you to buy it, you just buy it. And then you sell it market on close. So this would have made me about a buck 20. So $120. So 340 minus 70 is $270. So if you took if you had this indicator on your charts from Friday, you would have made $270. It's not bad. $270 a day, it's about 1200 a week, which is about $75,000. Just on a hundred shares of stock, okay? And it literally tells you to the penny exactly where to buy it, okay? This is Facebook. It tells you buy Facebook, 189.74. When do I sell it? You sell it on the close. If you ever get confused or don't know when to sell it, literally this indicator will tell you when to sell it. So buy Facebook, 189.74, sell, end of the day. And the brokerage firms are really nice. There's actually orders where you can come in here and you can sell it, market on close. So you literally just go in here, you'd hit MOC, market on close order, 
and you just close your position. That's it. So if you had six minutes on Friday, if you had if you had this indicator, which probably nobody has right now, if you had this indicator on a hundred shares, you would make two hundred seventy dollars in six minutes. Does that sound good? Does it sound interesting? My goal is to trade as little as possible. Why would I want to trade for a long portion of the day? I don't want to. I've done that for a very long time. I trade for an hour. That's it. An hour a day, four days a week. Ooh. So let's talk about risk management. Hold on, let me give it a sip of water. Just give me like a second here. All right, so let's talk about risk management here and how much you want to put on any trade. So what we do here is we calculate the ATR. ATR trans stands for average true range. And then once again, this is another thing you can get on your thinkorswim platform. So if you go here, you go to the left and you put an ATR, you can double click on ATR and it tells you how much a security will move over the last 14 days. So this is on a five minute bar. So it'll be like, Apple moves 23 cents a, a day. No, make sure you're on the daily chart just to be your ATR. And then Apple moves about $5 a day. Okay, so Apple moves $5 a day. So you can put this trade on in six minutes, but Apple does move $5 a day. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna look at your ATR, your average true range, and say Apple moves about five bucks. Then do your math on 100 shares of stock. So good traders say if they are right, how much can they make? I don't consider myself a good trader. I consider myself a great trader. I say if I am wrong, how much can I lose? Okay. So if I am wrong, how much can I lose? Use the cloud here for these targets. Okay. So use make sure you're looking at your ATR. Okay. So Apple has a five dollar ATR. If I'm comfortable with potentially losing $500, I can do 100 shares of stock. If I'm comfortable doing less, I would do less shares of stock. So we say, I have been able to look at historical data, see what stocks trade best on the chart. We have come up with these, these for you. These are your FANG stocks. So the stocks that work best are Apple, Baba, Amazon, Facebook, Tesla, Okay, so we see here, this is a signal in Apple from um, about a week ago, June 4th. Okay. So we see here in Apple, same thing. So this is from June 4th. This was, gives me a signal. So the cool thing about this, I'm not here to teach you Ichimoku Cloud. All I'm here to teach you is how to potentially make more money. There is a signal in Apple, 175.61. Sell, market and close. So all this does, it looks for a, full, a five minute bar that's bullish. You buy the five minute bar that's bullish and then you sell it at the end of the day. And right off the bat, Apple went down. That's fine, who cares? Historical data has shown me that this indicator makes money. Okay, if you guys are looking to trade something that is different, that's new, that is shown to make money, this is your indicator. If you want to teach, if you want to learn something that you know historically hasn't made money, you're on your own. Okay, my idea and concept in this world is just like robots are going to uh, replace doctors at some point in time. Is that there will be no manual traders left? I don't want to trade during the day. I want to put out in the ideas and concepts of the things that make money. And then I just want to trade on it. Okay. So you buy Apple here. 
175.61. Sell it, market and close. You took 100 shares of stock, $400. If you can make $400 a day, that equivalents to two grand a week. That's $100,000. If you take 1,000 shares, you make $4,000. All you do is you buy it six minutes in the day, guys. We're not trying to sit here and stare at our computers all day long. I've done that for too many years. It's not fun. We're trying to simplify trading okay, on stuff that makes sense. Usually, if there's if Apple comes in, it's above the cloud, there's buyers in the first five minutes, there's gonna be buyers throughout the course of the day. Okay. Apple trades 25 million shares in a day. My 100 shares won't move the market. All I'm doing is I'm buying it six minutes into the day. This trade takes six minutes. If you don't have six minutes to trade in the morning, you know, maybe you should be at this webinar. But this trade takes six minutes. The trade turns real money into profits. 100 shares would have turned into $410. 500 shares would have turned into $2,050. So here is Apple. This is June 5th. Notice what's important. It tells me no signal. So it'll either say one of two things. It'll tell me signal or no signal. 100 shares in Apple is roughly $18,000. So your margin requirement would be about $4,500. $4,500 uh, margin requirement. So Apple opens above the Ichimoku cloud. What we can see here, what's important, it's a bearish candle. Bearish candle, no signal. Well, what happens to Apple after our indicator tells me no signal, AK, goes straight down. You don't take a trade. Don't force it. Don't, you know, have ideas and concepts that don't work. All you have to do here is look at the indicator. And it will tell you if there's a signal or not. If there's a signal, you take it. If there's no signal, you don't take it. And there's nothing wrong. The fang names, there's seven fang names on Friday. Four of them had no signals. Three of them had signals. Two of them were winners. If you took 100 shares at each signal, you would have been up 270 bucks. It's the easiest thing in the world. Okay, keep going. Here's Tesla. Once again, June 4th. What do we see here? When we buy this indicator, we see that it will say signal or no signal. Okay. Then, this was from June 4th. So in Tesla, we see Tesla. It says five minutes into the day. Okay, five minutes into the day. It says, buy Tesla, 182.12. So what did I do? I bought Tesla at 182.12. What happened? Ah, there it goes, straight high. Tesla closes on the high of the day at 194. 100 shares of stock would have paid 12 hundred dollars thousand shares of stock would have paid twelve thousand dollars it's so easy this indicator comes up on thinkorswim and it literally tells me where to buy and where to sell it look at this buy tesla 182.12 okay this is all each of the cloud base look at where tesla is right now and these are all day trades even though it's a day trade, it takes you five minutes. Put it on five minutes in the day, and then you just close it. Mark it on close. I go to the gym during the day. I meditate during the day. I go to the pool and read during the day. I go take bolt to the park during the day. Okay. I only trade for an hour. This indicator allows you to trade in five minutes. <laughs> Why wouldn't anybody want to trade on this? I have no idea. So this trade turned real money into profits. 100 shares would have paid $1,150. 500 
500 shares would have turned into uh, $5,750. Just for argument's sake, here's Tesla the next day. Okay, so June 4th, we had a signal. We take the signal. 100 shares make 1,200 bucks. 1,000 shares make 12,000 bucks. The next day, first bar of the day is a bear bar above the cloud. Bear bar means no signal. Nothing to do. So what happened to Tesla? Down all day. But your fire period based indicator that you just purchased tells you not to take this signal. So don't overanalyze, don't over dissect, don't overthink. Just look for the signals. Friday, three trades, two winners, one loser, 100 shares of stock in each of those, $270 profit on 100 shares. 1,000 shares, 2,700 bucks, okay? No signal. The indicator literally will tell me, don't do anything. It should like hit me in the head and say, AK, don't do anything. No signal, Tesla went down to 192 from that 201 high. That was on the fifth. Here's Tesla, and you can see this is a trade that I actually took, real money, my own money. So at 6.36, which is Pacific time, I bought Tesla. At 182, I sold it market and closed. I made $11.60 per share of stock. It's so easy. Literally, all you have to do is buy it when a signal's here. Here's Netflix on 4th as well. We can see we saw Netflix from Friday. I'll just pull up Netflix from Friday. In six minutes, okay, so Netflix, and we're looking at the five minute bar. So we go to the five. Oh, it tells me exactly where to buy Netflix. It says, AK, buy Netflix at 366.94. Buy Netflix at 366.94. Okay, cool. I'll go buy 100 shares. So you buy Netflix, 366.94. Our indicator tells us exactly the level of buy. There's no gray periods. There's no gray areas. Literally, buy Netflix, 366.94. When do I sell it? End of the day, which is also market on close. Do you buy the close of the five-minute bar? Yes. So you just literally, you'll buy this indicator. You plug it in. It's called the six-minute trade because it takes six minutes. So six-minute trade, you plug it in, and then you just go buy it. Okay. And that Netflix actually went down. You went down to 366.53. You buy it at 366.94. Let's say you bought 100 shares. You sell it at the end of the day. How much did you make? $230. $230 in six minutes. I don't know where anywhere else in the world you can make $230 in six minutes. Uh, do you trade options on the five? You can. Um, I don't. Uh, I am a big option guy, but I trade stock on this. So on Friday, you just buy. The, the indicator tells you everything. It tells you if there's a signal, if there's not a signal, and then when to sell. Apple from Friday. Talked about it. Apple closed on the lows. Well, my proprietary base indicator told you not to buy Apple. Closed on the lows. Uh, a little bit off the lows. But. Okay, it's simple, it's easy, it's not concrete. So $100 were to turn into $450 on that trade. $1,000 were to turn into $4,500. You can see here in Netflix, I actually took this trade. So I do trade real money live. I bought Netflix at 346.20. Sold it at the end of the day, $7 higher. It's so easy. This is a kind of a newer thing. And we've been uh, basically only offering it out for like the last week. And the response has been unbelievable. So the Ichibuku Cloud is a technical analysis method that uses past, present, and future at a single glance to figure out if security is bullish or bearish. <laughs> the cloud is made of six key components. It works well in a trending market. The cloud will not produce signals in its consolidation or sideways action. Uh, why not buy calls or puts? 
you can it's just easiest to buy stock so calls and puts but it's just easiest to buy stock so you can because the problem is if you buy calls or puts you can buy in the money calls if you buy calls and puts uh you have time to kick so the stock can move in your direction but you can lose lose money on implied volatility risk and time decay so the ichimoku cloud is a technical analysis method that uses moving averages to figure out at a single glance if the security is bullish or bearish the cloud works best in trending markets using historical data is not 100 percent profitable okay so i use historical data just because I came up with an idea and concept that made money in the past doesn't mean it will make me money in the future. There's no guarantees in life. Okay, I'm not a registered investment advisor. Can I give you recommendations or advice? I cannot guarantee this indicator will make money in the future. However, every single that comes across the tape, I do take. Why do I take it? Because I believe in it. Okay, and you should too. In six minutes, you could potentially make $500 a day. That's it, guys. I used to trade, like when I was on the floor, I can't tell you, like I literally would not go to the bathroom because I didn't want to miss a trade. Now, stock market's boring, okay? Just find things that make you money and stick with it in a short period of time. Doesn't everybody here, doesn't everybody here want to work for five hours, for an hour a day, four days a week? Four hours a week, that's all I work, trading. I give up five hours. Maybe I'll miss a good signal, but I'll give up those five hours to go do what I enjoy in life. Okay. Go to the gym, go travel. I've been to 54 countries. I'm going to be three more this uh, in July. Do what you love in life and trade one hour a day. Uh, what percentage of the buy signals are right? Uh, we've never looked at the historical data. Uh, I think, I don't know, to be completely honest. Um, but if you took every trade over the last year, then um, it was like profitable by like $28,000 or something. My uh, historical data tester sent me it. So if you took 100 shares of every trade over the last 52 weeks, I think it was up like $28,000. $28, if you're not trading historical data, you are trading blind. Uh, does it work in futures? No, it actually doesn't. So we tell you specifically what stocks to trade. Apple, Amazon, Baba, Netflix, Facebook, Tesla, Twitter, oh, not Twitter, uh, and Netflix. So there's seven stocks to trade. Google's too. Trade Google too, okay? So this is the six-minute trade. It is available nowhere else in the world. You can Google it if you want, but you'll never find this anywhere else. And the link to purchase this is options on the floor. Dot com forward slash win. So this is the six minute trade available currently on Thinkorswim only. We are putting it on uh, Ninja and Trade Station, but it's currently only available on Thinkorswim. So what you're going to get, guys, this is a lifetime membership. We talked about it on Friday, okay? On Friday, you would have made $270 on 100 shares of stock. Imagine making $270 a day and only spending $499, okay? Here's your Netflix signal. You know how long this took? Six minutes. If you don't have six minutes to trade, you shouldn't be trading. You know, like they came out with abs, and they came out with eight-minute abs, and seven-minute abs, and six-minute abs. If you do not have six minutes, you should... I mean, why take an hour or five hours to listen to this webinar, okay? This has historically made money. Look at Facebook. Facebook. Oh, my indicator. I can't buy anywhere else in the world. Just told me to buy Facebook at 189.74. Sell it at the end of the day. Boom. Profits, okay? So what this is, this is the six-minute trade. It is only available today. You cannot buy it anywhere on the whole internet. It is available on Thinkorswim. We're going to try to port it over to Ninja. What we're also going to throw in today is the VIP 
mentoring session once a month. So once a month, you're going to come with me personally, and you're going to say, hey, let's just go over some trade setups. Was that a winner? Was that a loser? How is the proprietary base indicator doing? You're going to give the Ichimoku Cloud Workshop on demand. That workshop is $1,000 itself. Okay. So we sell this indicator for a thousand usually. The VIP mentoring sessions are worth a thousand. The Ichimoku Cloud is worth a thousand. So we have a three thousand dollar value, guys. We are offering it to you today for four ninety seven. And you're probably thinking to yourself, "Hey, okay, it's a really good deal. Four ninety seven every single month." No, 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 no. This is a one-time fee, okay? So if you trade this indicator for the next year, that's going to work out to about $40 a month. We showed you on Friday, just on Friday, on 100 shares of stock, you could have made uh, like $1,200, okay? Question here, what account size should be using for this indicator? This is why I was asking about options. I mean, that's up to your own discretion. We talked about the trading plan. You can rewatch this webinar and basically um, look at the ATR. Okay. If you're going to buy 100 shares of Apple, you're risking $500. If you're going to buy 100 shares of Google, you're going to be risking about $4,700 because that's the ATR. So this is a one time, uh, get in my emails. David is in, Evan is in, Julio is in. Cameron is in, uh, let's see, Katie is in, Alex, Zandra is in, Nate is in, okay? Six minutes, that's all it takes. You know when the like, abs came out, like eight minute abs, seven minute abs, six minute abs. This takes you six minutes a day. I trade for an hour a day, that's it. I have about two minutes left here, guys. Does anybody have any questions at all about the indicator? So you're going to get the six-minute trader available on Thinkorswim. Literally, it will tell you where to buy it and where to sell it. It's that easy. Also, you're going to get the VIP group mentoring session once a month. You're going to get the Ichimoku Cloud workshop on demand. Okay, Total, $3,000. We're offering it to you for today and today only for $497. $497. And this is a one-time fee. You will never be charged again. Unfortunately for me, if I could, I would just charge you 99 bucks a month. I would make a lot more money. Because at 99 bucks a month, it'll be $1,200 a year. Nine months would be 900. I can't. Indicators don't work like that. Okay. When you guys sign up, you'll get the course immediately, and you'll get the indicator sent to your email. You can start trading this on Monday. Let me just show you the signals again. Let's just go through it. This is how easy it goes. Let's say we're five minutes into the day. Apple, no signal. Uh, Amazon, no signal. Baba, okay, I'm going to go buy it. End of the day, I lost 70 cents. So I lost 70 bucks. Facebook, uh, I bought it 189.74. I made $1.20, 120 bucks. Google, no signal. Uh, Tesla, no signal. And then Netflix. Buy it, 366.94. Sell it, market and close. That's uh, 230 bucks. Look, I just made $270 working for six minutes. It's easy, it's simple. So make sure you guys sign up here, optionsonthefloor.com forward slash win. If you want to trade the FANG names in six minutes, that's all it takes. You can wake up, see if there's any signals, Put your trades on, put a market on close order, and then go do what you like to do in life. You should not be at your computer all day long trading. I'm not on my computer. I trade four hours a week. Everybody have a great day. Thank you so much. Thank you, team uh, Trade Thirsty and Gigi.